One state line community is dealing with both an environmental problem and an eyesore. 23 News reporter Raquel Moore tells us about a neighborhood upset over sewage being dumped in a nearby lake and how the company dumping that waste is searching for solutions. A lot of our community members, like you know, with this past rainfall, they've been told that if you see any dumping or any pumping, take pictures of it, document it. Dale Minma is one of 1,400 living in the Boone County subdivision of Candlewick, aware of toxic waste being dumped in the lake where he swims and fishes. And Minma wants answers. So does Candlewick's general manager, Tracy Carter. He says they've hired a team of lawyers to investigate. They are um, reviewing a great deal of information and an effort to put an analysis together to give us a better understanding of what transpired and why it transpired the way it did. Reactor. So the aqua water plant says the volume of water is too much to take in and that's why they're forced to pump out or risk flooded basements. That much rain, there's not really any place to put it. On a day like today, Aqua says they pump about 300,000 gallons of water through their facility. However, on a day of torrential downpour, they can pump as much as 1.6 million gallons. Aqua says they had to act fast in order to get rid of the overwhelming amounts of sewage in the pipelines. It's basically the lesser of two evils. What is the best for our customers? What's the best for uh, the environment? What, what can we do to alleviate the, um, the issues that's, that's causing? We're still trying to get a better idea of how this took how this situation took place. Poplar Grove, Raquel Moore, 23 News. Aqua says next year they'll spend $500,000 to figure out what is causing the sewage overflow and how it can be fixed. They believe that pipeline cracks may have something to do with the problem.